Introducing Allbirds' new Wool Runner 2, redesigned to redefine comfort. Extra cushioning offers a plush ride, and premium materials deliver a cozy fit. Go to Allbirds.com and use code FRESH24 for a free pair of socks with purchase today. Welcome to Culture Crash, where we examine what's new and old in entertainment. Everyone knows by now that it has been the year of Taylor Swift. Since her Eras Tour launched last March, the Taylor Swift experience has been non-stop. She's been on tour, she's released new music videos, she started dating Travis Kelsey, unveiled new vault tracks, won album of the year at the Grammys, and now she has her next album coming. For all the talk of her celebrity and her personal life though, it can be easy for some to forget that she reached her level of fame the old-fashioned way. Unrelenting work ethic. Swift released her first album in 2006, following up with new albums every two years through 2014 when she released her fifth, called 1989. The sixth album took her three years, and then the seventh album, Lover, came in 2019, which is when she entered another level of music creation. Because less than a year after she released Lover, she released Folklore. Later that same year came Evermore. Less than two years later came Midnight's, and now, less than two years since then, she has her 11th full-length album, The Tortured Poets Department, set to release on April 19th. But of course, that's not all. After a contract dispute, she's also famously working to re-release new versions of her first six albums. So far, she's re-released four of them, and every time she puts one out, she also puts out previously unreleased vault songs. And so far, she's put out 26 of those. In total, it's meant Taylor Swift fans have never had to go years on end without the hint of new music from their fave. Sometimes, watching an NFL game, you hear the familiar groan of an impatient man. Why do they show Taylor Swift? What has she ever done? The answer is simple. Since 2006, she's made 11 full-length albums, soundtrack songs for the Hunger Games and Fifty Shades franchises, the highest-grossing tour of all time, and she's acted in a few movies for good measure. Love her or hate her, that's up to you, but she can't say she doesn't work hard. Taylor Swift is a grinder, and the Tortured Poets Department is just the latest proof. I'm Evan Rook. What if you could have a career where the opportunities are as vast as our nation, where it's not about mission statements, but a shared mission? At U.S. Customs and Border Protection, we go beyond to protect more than borders. From ship to shore, air to ground, cities to local communities, CBP agents and officers are keeping people safe. Join U.S. Customs and Border Protection and go beyond for something far greater than yourself. Learn more at cbp.gov slash careers.